Hi, my name is Nicole and I am one of the pharmacists working in the community respiratory team. This video will discuss a self-management plan for your COPD and if you have a rescue pack, how to use it. If you don't have a rescue pack, then I'll discuss this further at the end of the video. You should have already received a self-management plan called Traffic Lights in COPD. If you don't have one at home, then you can either contact your respiratory nurse or have a look at the Chest, Heart and Stroke website. The plan discusses signs and symptoms of an infective exacerbation of your COPD. The signs and symptoms can be very different for each patient, so it is important you are aware of how things change for you and be aware of when these changes are happening. I'm going to go through the leaflet with you and explain what each stage means and what actions you may need to take at each stage. So the first stage is the green stage. This is how you feel when you're stable and well. The colour of your spit, the amount of phlegm you produce, how far you can walk, how breathless you are at night, your appetite and knowing what makes your breathing worse. It means that your symptoms are under control and that you are taking your usual medications and doing your breathing and chest exercises as normal. The next stage is the amber stage. This is when your symptoms are getting worse and you don't feel well. You may need to use your reliever inhaler, so your subutamol or your Bricanil more often. You may have a new cough or be coughing more than usual. You may be short of breath and more wheezy than normal. You may have more sputum or don't have any when you normally do. Your sputum may have changed colour and looks greener. Your appetite may not be as good as normal. You may feel more tired or less energetic and you may have new ankle swelling or worse ankle swelling than usual. If you are in this zone, then you should increase the use of your reliever inhaler, rest more often, use your breathing techniques and chest clearance exercises, drink plenty of fluids and eat small amount of food often. If your symptoms improve, then carry on as normal. If your symptoms don't improve after 24 to 48 hours, then follow the instructions in the red zone. This is where you are feeling much worse and you have been in the amber zone for 24 to 40 hours and you are not feeling any better. This is the time to contact either your GP or the community respiratory team. You may need to start taking your rescue pack, which contains an antibiotic, you would start taking this if your sputum has increased or has changed colour. And it also contains a steroid, prednisolone. You would start taking this if you're significantly more breathless or wheezy. If you do start your rescue pack, then please contact your GP or respiratory team to let them know. If you do not have a rescue pack, then this is something you can discuss with your GP. It isn't always appropriate for every patient to have a rescue pack at home. If you are in the red zone, then monitor for the following symptoms. Extreme breathlessness or difficult breathing. Feeling drowsy or confused. You have chest pain or have a high temperature. If you have any of these symptoms and are not feeling any better after 48 hours of taking your rescue pack medication, then please contact your GP, NHS 24 or an ambulance. Once you have used your rescue pack, it is important to ensure you obtain a replacement so that you always have a supply at home. This can be done either by contacting your GP or your respiratory team.